Stone Hill Inn. Kind of, you kind of, you remember exactly what happened last time, right? Yep, we uh, kind of finalized our investigation uh -huh. with uh, the goblins. <clears throat> we went to a uh, sleeping giant, <clears throat> fought uh, three of the uh, mind goblins. Uh, kind of just discovered more about, like, them taking different, like, bits and pieces of this stonework that is, uh, told, that, that's for, like, the obelisk they're trying to build that was told to us by the goblins in the orchard. Uh, then we went and, uh, saved the mining exchange from collapsing, where it was kind of the same thing, it collapsed because they were taking pieces of the foundation for the, uh, obelisk as well. And uh, we talked to whatever the lady's name is. I still have yet to write it down. Come on, Gwen, I think. Gwen. Gwen, yes. I'm sure she will lose hey, hey. relevancy after this chapter. Hey, 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 you don't know that. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, we That's have crazy. to go to another... Uh, is it a mine or a cave that's, uh, on the other side of Wave Echo Cave? It's, like, a little bit farther. Um, yeah, it's, right. the position of where it is, is is right on. You know that it was an old mining outpost? That probably that's was, what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably dark, dirty, corrodian type thing. Yeah. I'll be honest, I think, uh, after last time we played D&D, &D, I think we switched over to League, so I did not fill out my notes completely. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't talk about it again. Okay. <laughs> so while all this was happening, Cairo, you went back to uh, Kragma Cave, the Kragma hideout, the original dungeon hideout, and did some investigation there about the three fiends goblins. Um, that's what you were doing. Because you have decreed it? Because I decreed it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll okay, okay. We'll see if there's some unfortunate mistakes that happen. Maybe there's a little a little Tyro thrown in there. A little Nick Goblin. Tyro. Huh? I don't know. I don't know what you did there. So, Tyro, you, you come back. Um, That's crazy. You come back to Thandalin. And you, uh, you were there when when they closed it up, so you notice it's still looking a little run down. However, everything looks... People look a little more happy. They look a little happier. They seem a little more upbeat that the crimes are being taken care of or at least investigated a little more than what the uh, uh, Harbin, the town master, was doing. And you make your way to Stonehill Inn, where your adventuring party awaits you. Ow. Hell yeah. What's up, boys? Gentlemen, What's going on? fellow adventurers. Welcome oh. back, Tyros. What did Hello. you learn back. on your adventure to Kragma Keep? Fuck, Elliot just told me and it just slipped my mind. Wait, no, he didn't tell me I learned anything. No, I said you may have fucked a goblin and had a kid. It's I didn't fuck a goblin, I know that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I, didn't. I, I, didn't. I, I ain't fucking no goblin, Jerry. My worst! Yeah, alcohol and Tim don't mix, man. I know. Hey, look, alcohol and Tim mix very well. Yeah, see, <laughs> see, see? You tell me you ain't fucking no goblin. But that don't mean I ain't fucking no goblin, Jerry. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, That's crazy. you guys were asked by Fake news. Gwen uh, kind of directed you that that was probably where, uh, probably where these guys are coming from. Um, and you guys leveled up to level six. Um, mm -hmm. We'll start with Ryan. Um, what did you get? Out of, I mean, you can describe it, kind of your training, or you can just tell me mechanically what you can just put on your. Yo, Ben can fly now. They fly now. Oh my god. They fly now. He is a, oh my god. I hate you. 
I hate that that's allowed. I'm just a stormtrooper. <laughs> they fly now. They fly now. Yeah, oh, like, that's the funniest that's shit ever. <laughs> that's the funniest yeah, shit ever so... that you're quoting that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when I use a uh, step of the wind, uh, I can actually fly, and my uh, flying speed is equal to my walking speed. And then I also have key empowered strikes. So now, uh, my unarmored strikes do huh? uh, magical oh. damage. So it overcomes resistance and immunity to non-magical attacks and damage. Hell yeah. And I just absorbed him from Lane. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Matt, what did Felgar learn or do? I learned um, armor of magical strength. Uh, the armor I have now has six charges. And when the wearer makes a strength check or a strength saving throw, it can, I can expend one charge to add a bonus to the roll equal to my intelligence modifier. Oh. Or, if the creature would be knocked prone, it can be used as its reaction to expend one charge to avoid being knocked prone. Okay. And then it, it regains uh, six yeah. charges, or 1d6 of dis expended charges daily at dawn. Okay. And then also, I learned uh, Boots of Winding Path. I, I think. It says I re it requires attunement, so maybe I have to study something, I'm not sure. No, like that would be like during your last week of training or something. But I think you can oh, only I see, I see. attain it. Is there a limit to them? I don't remember. Like you can't attain them several. A tune. Yeah, a tune several times, right? Um, I th uh, I I I actually don't really know. I just know about... to attune it several times at a time. Yeah, I, I knew it takes time. We've been resting. Okay. Yeah, you guys have been resting. Alright. And then, yeah. with the boots of uh, Winding Path, while wearing these boots, a creature can teleport up to 15 feet as a bonus action to an unoccupied space the creature can see. That's the creature right. must have an occupied, or must have occupied that space at some point during the current turn. So, I take it like an echo ult. You know, I can yeah. go in That's and then flash back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can teleport anywhere. It's your space. Yeah, it's uh, at the end of the. And then also, uh, Humunculus Servant. I'm sorry, one last thing. That's okay. Um, I need a gem or a crystal worth at least 100 gold, and you learn intricate methods of magically creating a special Humunculus that serves you. The item you infuse serves as the creature's heart around which the creature's body inst instantly forms. You determine the Humunculus's appearance. Some artificers prefer mechanical looking birds. Where some has wing vials or miniature animated cauldrons. So what I'm getting, it has like different stats based on where I'm at, and I roll a bunch of shit to determine it's like shit, which is kind of cool. But I can determine what it looks like and what it is completely. Okay. We just gotta find a gym. Yeah, you probably have them or will be obtaining them at some point if you don't start with them. Uh, you can oh, only oh, be don't... attuned to three things at a time. takes a short rest and then you can attune them. Gotcha. But you can definitely attune to them with the gym. Nice. Nice. Now me. Let's go over here. It's looking a little magical now. A little magical? So, your mic yeah, is fucking sounding good. less magical every day. <laughs> Rip. But yeah, so I dove into, I'm going to subclass into Druid. Um, I don't really gain much at level 1. It's just mainly learning, I guess, the language. And yeah. then that's it. Also, I have fucked up this character sheet in Aaron, more ways than you guys can understand. You told me we had fucking no, no, no. Like, like, I have fucking tried. Like, I'm just going to throw this shit out there. Right now, I'm staring at Hunter Range 6, Ranger 6, Druid 2, but I have two fucking things that are from, like, level 10. So, like, I'll make sure I don't use the wrong things. Everything <laughs> looks to be in check, but, like, there's a bunch of bullshit on my screen. I don't fucking talked. know. Last time we talked and walked you through it, it, was, it looked fine. 
now. Oh. Oh, oh Elliot, I have a uh, six infusions now, by the way. So I can I can attune to six, I think, because I go to artificer infusions, and it's telling me about these, and then only one, two, three, four of these items prior attunement. No, five once I reach level 14, but then I unlock the fifth slot once I hit level 14. Okay. So I can attune to all the things I have. Uh, I think it lines up like that. Okay. Should be good. Okay. <clears throat> Arnold, I just switched. No, I remember. I was using the other one. Okay. Yep, yeah, I got it. Okay. That's, that's. I was like, what did you touch? But <laughs> thank you. No, I forgot. Yeah, I was using the other website. Yeah. That's what it was. Okay. Okay, cool. But you should have, like, druid, at least druid cantrip with, like. Yeah, I do. I see him now. Cantrip. But your wild oh, chase just... doesn't come until second level, right? Yeah, that's second level. So, like, right now, cantrips, I'm running. Um, it was control flames. Okay. Um, and then mold earth, which are essentially the same thing. Just trying to match. Trying to make sure. Is a portion of dirt fire, yeah, fits within a five foot cube, and I can manipulate it in certain ways. Okay, so those are my two cantrips that I gained. Right on, uh, and Tyro, I don't know, you're leveling up right now. Hell, hell no, nah, bro, you know, we don't do that shit. No, never, never have. How the fuck would, why would we do that? That'd be dumb. My mic was muted. I am so sorry. I'm sitting here talking, and you guys were talking over me. I was like, what the fuck, guys? I'm trying to explain what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking dumbass. What you got? Um, so, yeah, I... Um, you... Can't... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's about to be like, ain't no way. <laughs> um, so I got the... I only got one thing. I got the ability to uh, raise... A dead enemy as a specter that I can use. Okay. Yeah, what? <laughs> that's the one thing. Yeah, that's what I got. That's. Oh yeah, that's, that's a too that's crazy cool. guy. Yeah. That's so crazy. yeah, it takes the stats of a specter. Um. I don't know the exact stats of what that is, but. That's amazing. What the fuck was that sound? That was a damn alarm going off back there. Microwave. Yeah, pretty much. Sick. So, uh, would you like to tell Tyro what you got, or? Yep. Tyros, we went to, uh, the sleeping giant. More shenanigans going on. <clears throat> they are taking oh. stones from around the town. Oh. To build this obelisk that they talked about okay. in the orchard. Same thing at the uh, miners' exchange. We have discovered that they are uh, their hideout is. I forget the name of the cave, Elliot. What is it? Is uh, Zorzula's rest. We have found out their hideout is at Zorzula's rest beyond Wave Echo Cave. Alright. I guess we gotta go there then, yeah? We're about to fuck their shit up. Whoa. Hell yes. Aggressive. That's aggressive. Uh, Absolutely we... about to fuck their shit up. Very, very aggressive. Before we leave to Zorzula's rest, I would like to stop at Barthen's provisions. Say Barthen's provisions. Please God yeah. tell Barthen's me. Provisions. Somebody say Barthen's provisions. Barthen's provisions. Yes. All right. Don't tell the one me. and only Barthen's. Is there a uh, a close sign on it anymore? Hey. Or... No, hey, yo, Bing. When you're talking to that man at Barthen's, can you look out for a gem worth at least a hundred gold? I'll buy it. I will keep an eye out. I need a gem or a crystal. I got you. Or you can just come with and look for yourself. I'm with Ooh. you, brother. Got him. I think we can only look at this shop at one at a time. So I think you... <laughs> my 
What the fuck? I thought I'd go. This man's about to go gamble his life savings away. To. Me and being linked up, we boys. We, we, we ride or die. He gets you. Who? We? We them boys. Hold Sorry. up, hold up. We them boys. <laughs> I didn't know there was a boom box. There's no closed cabinet open because they didn't rip the open. Okay. Thank God. Yeah, I'm gonna Let's go. I'm gonna walk in. Let's go. Don't do that. I won't. Fuck that, dude. I'm gonna kick the door open. No, you're not. Shop we're going in. No, I already no, opened you're the door, right. Omri. We we are just walking in. <laughs> Shopkeep, I have some Rappling items hook I would like to out sell. of stock. <laughs> <laughs> and you see a young man behind the counter polishing some nails. Oh, not this young fucking man. kid. Oh, not no. this fucking kid. Hey, guys, how are you? Oh, God. <laughs> I have items to sell. Chop, chop, kid. Get your mother. No, no, she's not here right now. Um, Actually, since, since you guys helped me out with the well, I got, uh, um, I got a promotion. So now I can, uh, Sell things. Oh, good. Well, I have some items to sell. Like them. If what, you would like what, to take a look. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Okay, so going out of the character voice just so we can do this faster. Uh, I have a gold statue of elf, of an elf worth 100 GP, uh, five malicite worth 10 GP each, and a wooden pipe. Uh, with a tree carving in it, and it is worth 150. So, be cool if I just had sell all that, get 300 gold. I ain't gonna do all the extra BS. Uh, I can I can offer you 250 for this. Kid, it is worth 300. We both know that. Yeah, but but we got we have a a, a larger profit margin to hit here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll an intimidation check against the. <laughs> Already. Uh, I mean, he's making me do it. He is. I know. I go for it's it. Man. it. Nineteen on the die, so it's a uh, twenty-two. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold your horses. Put the put the fist those away. So. I said three hundred. Uh, what's the point of telling me the price of shit if we're not gonna agree on? What? Who are you talking? What? You just don't want to give me give me all this money, huh? Well, is that what I it got is? A profit DM? margin. I gotta hit, buddy. So you <clears throat> me the wares. Two, I buy the wares. Or guess what? No one buys the wares. Two ninety. That's another two ninety. Actually, I don't want them. I don't want them anymore. Guess how much you make now? Zero. Zip. Fuck it, I walk that, out. Buddy. Fuck it, I walk out. I'm not buying shit. Okay. God, are we going against it? If, if I ain't getting what Ellie told me this shit's worth, then I guess not. <laughs> yeah, Alright. Yeah, let me I'll buy the... I sell shit from in there, I'm the, not. Uh, let me buy the breastplate for 400. You want the breastplate for 400? Yeah, let me get that breastplate. Alright. Here you go. I think the breastplate. What? Don't Google breastplate without 5e attached to it. Don't do that. What? I was like at the shop. I know. I just wanted to see if you had a uh, dexterity um disadvantage on stealth. So you. Okay. So your armor class is now 14 plus. Plus dex for max too. Yep. Thank God. It's fucking better than what I had before. Alright, buddy. Uh, what else? What else you need? I'm looking. Does anybody else want to buy something from the shop? Yeah, uh, I want to buy. All right, step right up. Hey, shopkeep. Uh, I've been looking for a little something. Uh, you got any uh, like rare looking items? Maybe anything yeah, shiny, yeah, anything yeah, curly, yeah. anything gem or crystally? Oh, gem or crystal. We we have some. I'm looking for some gem crystal. What you trying to do with it? I'm trying to make something. Motherfucker, I just learned something crazy. Motherfucker, I can make a minion. 
You ever you like the movie Minions? <laughs> I, I, I really do you like, like the banana. The ba you like banana? B b banana? <laughs> yeah, you would you would do that shit. Motherfucker, I'm trying to make a minion. That's what I have. I can make this thing and I can okay. choose it. And I've been really wanting a literal minion, but pretty like pretty decent, like a fucking like the size of like a dwarf. But like taller for some reason. He's one of like the taller, skinnier minions, but he's still big. Yeah, that's what I want. But I want him to look like mad gangster. Okay, okay. Oh, I love it. So you need something yellow. I need I no 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 just a gem or a crystal. A really nice one. Like okay. I need it like I gotta at least have to give you around a hundred gold for this thing. That's my rough right. ballpark. We did have a we did have a gym a dealer come in you know mm, and he didn't yeah. take take everything but I got this yellow paradox two two hundred two hundred on the house describe this thing for me what do you think this thing's made of what do you think it's been through in, in its life in its life uh probably compressed under the earth's crust for a long time uh, you ever think it was like carried by a pterodactyl. You know, I couldn't say based on initial look. It looks pretty clean. It looks like it likes the man. It looks cute and oval. All right, the Carfax is sounding really good. I'll buy it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Go through the rectangle yellow paradox gem with a hundred gold. You can oh make my a little god. <laughs> I'm gonna really? make a minion. Uh, it it says, wait, can I go DM DM time? Yeah, time. Uh, okay. it says yeah. it needs like a short rest. So can I just make it now, or do you think I should wait? Well, if you want to wait to leave tomorrow or, or just wait till you don't, a short rest is only a couple hours. So you can just wait a couple hours before you leave. You know, so. Okay, we can wait a couple hours before we leave town. We gotta we gotta talk to the dealer. This is Otter. Hey, motherfuckers, y'all think we could take a quick nap or some shit? Get a little <laughs> bit more refreshed while I make a minion? You can start making it now. Alright. Alright, I'm on it. I'm on it. Yo, appreciate you, Barton. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna walk back in. Uh. Oh, big man's here. Big man's back. I will take the 280 for my items. Okay. Now it's 260. Time's money, my friend. Fuck it, whatever. I don't care at this point. Fuck you, Elliot, for doing this bullshit. Thank you, thank you. I didn't do it. It was Andreas or whatever the fuck this dude's name. <laughs> what the fuck's his name? Anders? Anders? Yeah, yeah. Anders. Yeah, Anders. Not Anders. <laughs> Matt, what is your little minion? <laughs> I was just trying to look into the minion there. Huh? Where where did you find this minion? I know the I know Artificer gets a minion. <laughs> just trying to there, find uh, the stats of the I, minion. I got you. I'm actually I'm trying to make a character sheet for him right now. Well, yeah, because then I was gonna say we could have him on our screen with all his stuff. Here, here I'm posting in the chill chat right now. If you go to infusions and you scroll down to like What's not the this? bottom. Oh, it's an infusion. I wasn't looking there. That's the homunculus thing, yeah. Okay. Oh shit, I got another thing. That's good to know. Wait, oh shit. What is that? There's another fucking spell I need to grab as well. Oh shit. Damn, this homunculus is pretty good. You guys are about to have little minions everywhere. Uh-huh. Uh... I would also like to roll the gumball machine. Hey, what is that? Is that 200? 400 now? Damn. <laughs> Alright, so D100, or wait, what is it now? D12? D12. Oh, okay. Alright, four. Another four? Mm hmm. Okay. Another four. Oh. 
out. Can't really do anything. Bang. <laughs> Falls down. And out pops a little disc of that. It looks like a cane when you open it up. <laughs> but as you open up this cane-wrapped present, you notice the little trinket of a crowbar. Okay. <laughs> this is the barbarian crowbar. Okay. Now think of this as a trinket in like CS or not CS in uh, Rainbow Six Siege. You can put it on like you can wear it as an earring or a necklace or put it on something. As long as you have it on you or near you, then you gain plus two to athletics checks. Oh, okay. Uh, plus two. All right, so I'm just gonna make like a little pendant out of it and hang it, hang it from a chain. Oh, I'm iced out now. Yeah. You make that cord. You can figure out how to make that cord. You said a athletics check? Yeah. Okay. So whatever that is in your profession. Yeah. That's a six. Holy shit. Yeah? Wait, Elliot, are you on this character sheet? I'm looking at something. Uh, or like... Do you have it pulled up? Can you scroll down? I, I need to check something. Because okay. I might be fucking up what I'm leveling up. Your if you scroll to the very bottom and you see all the um like replicable magic items, are all those magic items options I could be using for attunements and shit? Uh, unless it says it requires attunement, then you're fine. Some of them say, a lot of them say yes. Yeah. Okay, so they are options. Okay. Alright, sorry. Just making sure. Magic items? Thing? Yeah, down at the bottom. Okay. Like, there's a lot of more options. Yeah. I'm wondering if those are all more options I could this go is, through. This is tenth level. Like the the lot of like as you can see at the top, it says six, ten. Yeah, I just hit six. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Like so I anything, I should look at those two. Anything second to six is your what you could what you could okay. use your infusion to replicate. All right, I might change the level up I just did. By the way, I need to look at because I didn't know okay. I could look at these. But I'm, I'm gonna just play this one like this. Okay. Alright. Uh, is the uh, potions of greater healing, is it 250 for all five, or is it just like oh, they that's have 250 five? 250 for each. Yeah, okay. That's a shit ton of healing. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll also buy one of those. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for tripping and treating me, sir. the bat he looks like batman but kind of gave up on the batman voice like halfway through i don't know <laughs> what you know um <laughs> uh, nothing i mean i guess you don't got you don't got cash burning a hole in your pocket you don't want to support local we got mugs we got clay mugs I do not uh, play mugs on the item list. Oh shit, we got to update that. We got those really funny socks that you see when you go to the mountains. Really funny socks. Not local though, just in a local store. <laughs> Forgot uh, what fucking armor I had. Did I update my armor class here? I have an... I need to roll some of this stuff. I'm just gonna roll some things real quick. Okay. Hey guys, it's Elliot here, your best friend, your DM, and your number one sick patient. Uh, I just wanted to apologize. I don't know what happened with my recording software. I did not change anything prior to this episode being recorded. Everything has been the same. However, something happened with the pickup settings on my mic, and I am messing with them, so my quality for the next three episodes for these uh, ads, as well as the quality within the show for the next three episodes will be off as I'm testing new things to try to see if I can make it a little better. 
uh, for a listening experience. I just want to apologize. Things happen. It's okay. We move on. We grow. I usually test before I record, but I have it pretty down and haven't touched it in 10 plus episodes, so I assumed it would have still been good. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, once again, remember to share this with uh, friends and family or anyone you think would enjoy it. Uh, updates, I don't really have any at the moment. I think we're trucking along pretty good here. So uh, this was a pretty good three, three, four hour long session where we got a lot done. It just sucks that my mic wasn't picking up properly. Uh, so yeah, we have one ad after this. Hey guys, quick ad and we'll get you back to the show. Uh, do you feel like you aren't part of a tabletop community? Do you want to meet new people with the same love and passion for tabletop RPGs? Uh, as you will look no further than Rock Bottom Bards. Rock Bottom Bards is a new podcast hosted by Cole and Devin, where they dive into the world building and mechanics uh, within different tabletop RPGs. They drop an episode every week, and that will keep you updated on what's going on within the community of tabletop RPGs. They also have a Discord filled with beautiful and wonderful people to chat with. Uh, their community has been amazing so far. Uh, drop into the Discord and say hi. You can also catch a live recording while you're there. The link is in the description of this podcast, and I'll see you at the bottom. I forgot what kind of armor I had. I think I have splint. Yeah, I think you do. No, it was, I have scale mail. Mail, mail, scale, mail. What? Do you have half plate? No. No, you do not. Oh, Fuck. Oh no. Oh god, what now? The minion has 11 HP. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the fucking oh, you had ones and twos. Whatever the fuck that thing is, I don't even know what the fuck you're gonna do with it. <laughs> Dude, no, I have to roll for the minion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got you fucking traded it, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, is this every time you make it, you have to roll for its health, or is this just like forever, whenever you have it? Well, the um, gumball machine is now a D12. Mm -hmm. Wait, the gumball machine is 400 gold? Yeah. Sir. Has the gumball machine been upgraded? Yeah. I'm rolling the gumball machine. You guys also have the gumball machine. What? Yeah. I mean, not two. anymore. I just bought it. I, was. I just paid for the gumball and the bottle. Yeah, I have 72 gold now, so. <laughs> okay, are you rolling it, Timothy? Yep. Okay. Uh, a seven. Seven. Roll for my skill. Okay. Oh, well, good thing you didn't buy armor. Um, you, <laughs> a small little box, doesn't, kind of does a little roll action down okay. the tube of the gumball machine. And lands at your feet. Sounds pretty heavy. Looks like a lot of weight went behind that box. And you open it to the face of a dragon with scales and the brightness of gold shimmering back at you. And you have just acquired padded armor of the gold dragon. And you have fire resistant or dam or fire damage resistant. We'll just keep your AC the same. This is like something like a tunic almost, like chain mail that you would wear under your main armor or mithril, kind of. Is it chain armor. mail? No, it's just like you know how like Frodo more wore the mithril under. Oh, armor? okay, okay. This would be okay. worn under your armor that you already have. Okay. So. 
if at any point in the campaign you acquire the gold dragon weapon, you will have immunity to fire on it. So now you only have resistance. So you could okay. be on it. So I really hope you don't have fucking resistance already because of the tiefling. I could not protect that. I'm not a tiefling, I'm a half elf. Oh, okay. I you know <laughs> when I was making this, I was like, I don't think he's a tiefling. And then in that moment I just thought of Warlock. So, so what is it? What is it called again? The padded armor of the gold dragon. Padded armor of the gold dragon. And what do I get? You get fire resistance. Or resistance to fire. Yeah, fire resistance. Is that it? Well, if you also get the weapon, you can get it. I don't want to know what the fucking weapon does. What do you mean? You want to know what the gold dragon does? I'd like to roll the gumball. I'm just joking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have enough gold. I'm just fucking with you. No fight. It's a plank. You got planked. It's a little plank. You got planked. It's a little plank. Oh. Ha ha. Describe what uh, what you're making with this gem. Um, what it looks like. So, as it might have been a malfunction, the minion's out here. But he he's kind of just scurrying around. He's kind of big. Uh, he's kind of large. Um, but like s still like, kind of like small, short, and he's he's got jeans on already. Um. The fuck up is he has wings. I don't know why. So the minion can fly. They fly. Why can everything fly at level six? They fly, they fly now. now. Uh, and he seems to fly a little bit faster than um he runs. So I. But he seems very ready to go. He wants to fuck something up. He seems kind of. I don't think. I think it's all fat though. I really. <laughs> he talks about eating bananas all the time. That's just sugar. <laughs> oh, you don't There's no that. protein in what he's eating, but he's eating a lot of them. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's with us now, though. He's loyal. Can I ride by? <laughs> check your screen. What do you mean, check our screens? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna Hell yeah. Let's That's go. Cool. I have to create a character sheet for the minion so that I can, I can guess what the stats are. Um, did you? Elliot, here. I'm gonna give you what I have so far. I was okay? gonna say like send a picture or whatever, and I can just create a character for the minion to run off of. And then uh, here. Holy fuck! I'm gonna be okay. That was way too easy to just make a minion a character in this game. <laughs> Open character view. It's a wait. I can make this minion a barbarian, guys. Elliot, there you go. And that's that's what I'm trying to copy over. Okay, thank you. Big minion removal. Awesome. Armor so it looks like the attacks are down at the bottom. Yeah, the action, the force strike. Um, the channel magic. It delivers a spell you cast as a means of attack. Oh shit! That's really. Oh, cool. that's actually awesome. Oh, that's that fucking help awesome. What the hell? Wait, what spell do I have that has touch? Any, I know I have one. Any spell that requires touch, like let's say cure wounds. That's just what comes to head. Your homunculus on your turn, you could tell it to go touch Ryan, and then it could heal him through you. Oh shit! You have, like, Magical healing grass, minion. Or if you have. You have really anything that does touch base range, other yeah. than attack. Um, he can do it for you, which is awesome. Hey, turn you guys, I'll be right back. Turn him into a little nuke. <laughs> he could be. Have him cast nuke. fireball on. Yeah, Open touch him, cast nuke. fireball. <laughs> um. Okay. Wait. Figure out bolstering make, yourself. I'll figure out how to make the minion. 
Uh, but I can make mass shield with my full power. Alright, so you should be able to move the minion down. Big minion is the aim. Hey guys, he won't stop moving. <laughs> he really likes going. How can I make a minion? Oh man, how do I add the minion here? Oh my god, he's so fat. Look at him. Running around. Um, mm -hmm. uh, maybe if I'm monk. Oh, you know what? I go here. Wait. Oh, he doesn't know that. He's he's a fat kid. <laughs> Never mind. Gotta go fast. Gotta go. I wonder if they have homunculus as like a default fat thing. Homunculus. I don't even have to look at this. Boom. Open character sheet. Boom. Except his hit points are different, but that's okay. And he has bite and telepathic bond, but I'm gonna ignore that because that's not what it says. Um, but cool. Yeah, now now the minion has all his stuff set up. That's what's up. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, awesome. That was easier than I thought. <clears throat> cool. So all right, guys. Uh, that minion thing's pretty weird, but uh, is everyone, everyone good? I have bought what I needed. All yep, right, I don't need anything else. Goodbye, child. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye bye. Oh, with that evasion spell, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, do I have to cast? Can I cast that after I'm attacked, or does it have to be like preemptive? It does not. Uh, if the homunculus is subject to an effect that allows it to make a dex save. Um, so basically, mm -hmm. if I actually make a dex saving throw and you succeed most of the time you'll still take damage however in this case he doesn't take any damage at all so instead of taking half he doesn't take any if he succeeds. okay nice okay and then i right, think cool. if he succeeds he only takes half like he'll never take full damage from a dex save nice all right i like that that's good yeah if he 11 <laughs> he needs it. Yeah, Alright, cool. Cool. So, you guys have a little minion now. Uh, Timothy minion. is the bird. So, I think Banana. Unless, uh, unless you have anything else you want to do. The day, it takes a day to travel for Zozeroy's rest. You'll be going by, um, I believe Echo Cave as well. Oh, hold up, Elliot. So, don't we get a gold from uh, the brothers since we started a new chapter? No, this isn't a new chapter. This is just. Oh. Um, uh oh. Oh. Okay. But you will get gold. Yeah, this is still within the same chapter. You just. Oh, okay. And we got how much per person on the last quest? I, don't, I never added it. Uh oh. It was like 300 or something. 300? Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So mean. You guys are evil. You know that, right? You guys should be changed to evil characters. Why? Because you're just mean. You have three hundred. A lot of gold. I mean, I'm. I think I'm neutral evil. Is what I put for my guy. Oh, that makes more sense. That makes more. Well, even now we're cool. Like <laughs> you guys are just mean to everybody. I was raised by wolves. And the wolves be killing. Um. Yeah. So, anything else you guys want to do? Or? I'm ready to head out. I'm, I'm ready. ready to head out. All right. Minion's ready to go. Minion. This is him. This is Minion. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he's going to hurt me, I think. <laughs> it sounds conniving. Hmm. Okay. Let me find a little generic. Uh, Elliot, feel free to take over and do Minion voices, by the way. I don't. <laughs> That's all you, you gotta role play. Yeah, you got the minion, uh, dog. Morgan looks at me weird when I do the minion voice. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't respect myself when I do it. Well, you have to. <laughs> okay, everyone put themselves around your little camp. So you traveled for almost a full day, about, got about most of the way there, but you're settled down for the night. Um, everyone put yourselves around the campfire. I, s I really hope I don't have to set this minion up every time. Really hope for me. 
Here, I'm gonna make a minion character. Don't worry. I'll get one. He said, "Be right back." I know. Yeah, he did. I yeah, think he yeah. did. It there he is. And he gets back every time he plays it. Okay, maybe that's what happened. So, uh, place yourselves where you would be around the uh, campfire. Mm -hmm. Just own this as kind of the main one. I've got a generic uh, camp set up here. Kind of what your character would be doing. On the side closest to the. Close to the trees. Okay. Buy anything. What are we? Do you type in an essay out? He's typing his minion. Um, the minion script for the AI. Mhm. Mm yeah, probably. <laughs> Shit. Oh no. Um, yeah, I gotta type like a paragraph and say he's specifically from Despicable Me and Despicable Me Two is oh, the one that likes bananas. I'm telling AI exactly what uh, we're talking about, and then get to the next part about D and D. And then putting him in this scenario so it really puts something I want. It does this. This is AI. It's crazy. It is crazy. So. So, I don't think he's ever done it, but we'll do it here. So basically with long rest, to get a long rest, you need eight hours of sleep. And no more than two of those hours can be at being conscious in any way. The standing watch, the reading or talking. I think Bing doesn't need, can stand watch and sleep. I think uh, mine's good. like, here, I'll read mine off. So mine is, uh, when you take a long rest, you must spend at least six hours in an inactive, motionless state rather than sleeping in this state. You appear inert, but it doesn't render you unconscious, and you can see and hear as normal. Okay. So mine's, mine's six hours. Your and cells and your consciousness. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I say mine, I only need four hours because I'm an elf. Yep. Okay. So, how would you guys like to do your night watch? I can just stay up and chill, you know, <laughs> unless something happens, then uh, I should be able to get my long rest in. Alright, you motherfucker yes. like minion gotta sleep. <laughs> so it says mine that uh, I don't need sleep, instead I meditate deeply, remaining semi-conscious. Does that mean I'm aware if something's... Like going through the trees or no? Semi conscious. Hmm. It's weird. Well, like, what what would you allow? Would you allow, like, no? I would say if you were meditating as elves do, but you were also having to stay focused, I would say it would be up to Savantnid just because it's okay. semi conscious. Okay. So if you were to do, like, a check for any type of. Stimulus, it would be up to Savannah. Then everybody else needs eight hours. Bing and needs I six. I need four. So Bing has said already that he will watch the whole night, if I heard that correctly. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah, because I just have to sit still. Okay. But I, I remain conscious. I don't need a long rest or anything, so. So Bing will be in a forever shift. So just oh, we're taking shifts? I'm just always, always working. working. Yeah. He's going to need someone with him at least. Yeah, because yeah, I, yeah, I can, I can only watch, like, one side. Because essentially, like, I, since I have to sit still, I can really only watch, like, one half. Yeah. Yeah, I'll stay up with Bing. Okay. And you can always, is that staying up, staying up, or is that meditating? It's going to be staying up, staying up. Okay, so you can only do that for two hours to get your long rest. But don't have to sleep. 
Okay. I'll do a shift. Yeah, I'll do clear shift. Cover. Second shift. Max, you can take a shift? I can take a shift. Okay. Got six hours. Yeah. Okay. Time. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, our first shift is being on Varus. Can you give me your percep? Yep. Yeah. Uh, mine is perception twenty-one. Seventeen. Okay. You guys don't hear or see anything happening for uneventful shift. Okay. Tyrell is going to be on Jaden's perception. Uh, 19. Oh, I knew I liked this die. Uh, oh, wait, I have a negative. Uh, 15. Okay, me and Max now, I'm guessing. Oh no, no, you hear something. Uh, oh, we hear something. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, Ooh, so this one's devious. Sorry, I thought the sound was cool. Okay. So, in the northeast uh, part of the room. pick up on some pretty heavy rustling, like fluffy or fur or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, what would you like to do? Okay, so we got like the campfire that's sitting around us, right? Yep. And then you're okay, and how, how far out is like... The, the wolf uh, is about mm, 35 feet. Is it northeast? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna, like, try and shine my, uh, staff of detect magic over there. The one that's, like, you know, the little staff that lights up. Yeah. So I'm you gonna... said, like, so northeast, right, so you're talking about, like, up over here, kind of? Yeah. So, okay. Actually... So, so I'm just gonna walk, like, over I'm here with my staff boat. to try and, like, get a better view. So I'm not, like, too Sorry, far away. Like up here is like where I heard the sound, right? No, northeast up here. Bro, does oh, only Bing hear this? Minion. Being is yeah. Bing is the only one that you would hear. So oh, like I'm closer sorry. to so closer to here. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm I just gonna know take Bing like. Has made you aware that you could hear it. Yeah. So I'm just oh, gonna. Oh, Bing, where are you going? I heard a sound. So I'm just going to step over here with my staff, see if I can okay. get a better view. Gonna create a... Okay. Just waiting for Bing to be done, uh, I guess. As you... Well, give me one second. Tim, make, your, make, make whatever you want to make now. <laughs> okay, I'm making a longbow with my packed weapon. Sorry, I'm, I'm reading, I, I didn't think about, oh man, okay, so, I will say that your little magical detection thing, or detect it, it's, it's, it's essentially just a flashlight, is yes, all of it, yes, I was yeah, that. sorry, I, I thought a little, little hard about yeah, so, it's essentially just a flashlight. It does like twenty dim light. Uh, uh it's a uh, fifteen full light, fifteen uh dim light after that. Okay. Um, you don't really get a great uh view. Like it doesn't light up the woods enough. It's pretty dense uh and thick. Mm -hmm. Um, 
but as they're kind of lighting up what is away from the campfire, the clouds have moved, and the moonlight uh, lights up this field for you a little bit. <laughs> you can't see it. I can't wait uh, to see this. Max is... I know, he's really selling this minion thing. <laughs> Dude, I... Max, come on. Max, what is... You can't be laughing at this because we all want to see it. I can't believe it made this! You did make post, it post it, in a, post it in Discord. Yeah, you have to post it now because I don't think we can continue like this. But yeah, uh, Bing, you don't see anything. The light doesn't uh, illuminate where you're at, so you don't see anything either way. Okay, and you said the get clear yeah. the trees and stuff. It looks like a lot of branches are casting shadows and stuff. Other than your brain, kind of, you can't tell what your brain is creating when you look at it yeah. like that versus yeah. what it is. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna keep my eyes out. Over to like towards the northeast. Yeah, Kairos does have like super advanced <laughs> super vision. Yeah, do yeah, I? Like, I was waiting. Like, I didn't want to interrupt. That's okay. Do <laughs> I? I make it. Did you send it to me, Max? Yeah. No, he told it. Make it larger. <laughs> what the fuck what is the that? Fuck? Wait, stop moving it. Stop. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is that? Kamala Harris minion. Oh, what did you just type in, like, chat GTP or some shit? Oh my god. Uh, Kamala Harris, if she was a minion from the movie Despicable Me, had wings, high definition, yellow skin, Kamala Harris face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's terrifying. I know. I'll get rid of my minion. This is the best thing ever. I love it. Why is it so high definition? Because it's typed in high definition. Dude, that's, that's Did awesome. you actually go to like chat GTP? Uh, I went to deepai.org. Deepai.org. Jesus Dude, Christ. I have tears in my eyes. That. How do I save that? Okay, you gotta send that in Discord. That's. Or is this one better? What is this? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> one? <laughs> that's that one's better. <laughs> Yeah, that one. Okay, okay, yeah. Really like, that one came out first, and then that one was like, that one just killed me. I was like, what the Both fuck? Both are amazing, and we'll take a poll right now from the group. I say I bottom might one. for the bottom one, just because. Yeah, yeah, bottom one. Man. I like the top. I don't know why. It the just reminds me of Jesus. Amazing, but I'm cool with both. Insane. I'm cool with both. But the bottom one has some sexiness. <laughs> and it really is on. Kamala turned into the minion on the bottom. Yeah. Like that one, it really did the job. The top one just has the head of Kamala Harris on top of a minion. The bottom one is Kamala Harris as a minion. Oh my god. Awesome. I'm running. I'm running the filter again. We're gonna see if we make something better. Okay, oh, so, well, that's the one. That's the one for now. This session, that's our Kamala. Okay.